for me it's morning, so I'll say good morning. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn our cameras off during this session because the screen will be much bigger for the presentation. So I will see you uh, visually later. Here we go. All right, so to start out, I wanted to draw our attention to the filter bar in WordFast Pro, which is just along the top here, typically uh, above the segments. And I'm sure some of you are familiar with some aspects of the filter bar. If you're not, I'll give you like a very uh, quick introduction there. Primarily what most people are probably going to use this for is for text filtering. So this here where it says enter text to filter segments. Uh, as an example, uh, this document I've loaded in is a sample document from Microsoft that talks about Microsoft Word. So I'm going to click on match case and then put capital W word like this. And then I'll hit the little search button. All right. And so what this is basically doing is it's searching all of the segments for the word word with a capital W. And as you can see, if you look along the left side, it says ID one, four, six, seven, 10, 12, 19, et cetera. Those are, it's showing me only the segments that contain uh, this capital W word, okay? Secondly, if you look down at the bottom, it says filtered segments total 17. So of all the segments I have, uh, if you look to the right a little, it says zero of 115 are completed. So I have 115 segments total, and only 17 of them contain a uh, word with a capital W, okay? So you can look for any kind of text like that, but that's not really the focus of today. What I want to focus on instead is the special filters. Okay. So by the way, if you set a filter in WordFast and you want to clear it, you need to click this little blue X over here to reset the, the filter. Because if you leave it active and you try to do more, you will actually pile filter upon filter. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So special filters are located here. There's a drop down if you click on it you can see there is a large number of different special filters and they're called special because they're created for a very specific purpose uh, for you to find things. Um, just to give you one example, um, you can type uh, any word you want into the special filter box to try to find it among the list. I'm going to type tag and you'll see it says segments with tags. So I'll select that and then hit the little search button. Okay, so you'll see now uh, filtered segments total 46. And if you look on the left side, you see tags everywhere. So it's only showing me the segments that contain tags. Okay, so that's, this is interesting. And um, this particular filter could give you a good idea of how much formatting will I have to deal with in this document. But let's back up a sec. I'm going to cancel that filter. I want to draw your attention to the top right. There's a little question mark. Uh, if you click on that, it takes you to the WordFast Pro help. All right. So let me bring that up on screen. I prepped it ahead of time just so that we could uh, have it on screen. So if you click the little question mark, what's going to happen is you'll see this page. And you have two choices. You can pick either one. It's fine. Uh, if you click go to online help, it'll open a web page with all the features. You can also click on WordPress Pro 9.50 user guide. I'll go ahead and click that one. Uh, the user guide is a large PDF. Um, you can see here that it says it's got 245 pages. Um, I went ahead and moved to the specific page ahead of time, but if you want to find it, I would recommend that you search for filter criteria. So if you're following along and you want to find that, that's how you do it. And what it does is it explains to you what each button and option is on the filter bar. So you can see here along the left, source or target, match case, regex, text filter, special filter, et cetera. All the buttons are there with explanations. And then if you scroll down a little, let me make this a little bit bigger. Here we go. Okay, there's a whole list of all the special filters uh, with an explanation of what exactly it is filtering for you. So if you want to try out filters or find out what filters are available, I think this is the best way to do it. Uh, because just experimenting in WordFast Pro, I'm not sure um, that you will necessarily figure out what's happening exactly. 
Um, so this is where you can find the information. I'm going to go ahead and move that back off now. All right. So let's try a couple of things. Um, first, I want to explain something very important. Um, there's a little bit of a uh, logic that you have to consider when you're going to set up a filter. So anytime that you do one item for a filter, that's clear what it's doing. Like when I did tags and when I searched for the, the word word with a capital W. However, you can search for multiple things. So let me give you an example of how that would work. First, let's combine uh, searching for text with a special filter. So I'm going to go back to my earlier example, click match case. I'm going to type in word with a capital W. Then I'm going to go to special filters and I'm going to type tags. OK, so what I'm setting up here is I want to find segments that contain the that contain word with a capital W and also they have tags. So I'll click search. OK, and last time I think we had something like 17 uh, total segments filtered. Now we have eight. So if we look carefully, we can see the word word with the capital W uh, popping up in each of these segments. So if you do a text filter and a special filter, the logic of that is and that means do this and this, they both have to be present in order for it to uh, to find it. OK, so it's not one or the other. It has to be both in the segment for it to show up. So again, if you do a text and a special filter, the logic is and meaning it has to contain both of those. OK, let me clear this now. And let's try this a different way. So what we're going to do then is we will look for a couple different kinds of segments. Um, I happen to know that there are some duplicate segments in this document and there is a duplicate segments filter. So I'm going to pick duplicate segments and click search. OK, now, interestingly, uh, all of these duplicate segments contain tags. Um, that doesn't really have anything to do with anything, but uh, let's try something. I want to search for all um, segments that contain tags and are duplicates. So let's see what happens if we do that. So I'm going to start out by typing tags like this. OK, now if you want to find one or the other, you can actually press the comma button and then select a second one. So now I'm going to type in duplicate segments and hit search. All right, now this may look a little strange uh, because it didn't find just the duplicate segments with tags. And that's because if you put a comma in, you're using or logic. That means find me segments with tags or with duplicate segments, not both. So you have to be careful about that because WordFast Pro really wants to do uh, commas when you're setting this up. So if you want to do this very carefully, what you would do is type tags, right? And we're going to specify now that we want and logic, not or logic. So there's a special button to the right that's called the cumulative filter button. It has a little plus in it. So I'm going to click that. All right, then I'm going to wait. Looks like we have segments with tags. Now I'm going to clear this out. So I'm going to delete that text and then type duplicate segments. Then I'll hit the plus button again. All right. So if you want or logic, you type one filter, type a comma, and then you add another filter. So if you want to filter for like four different things, this or this or this or this, you type the filter name, comma, filter name, comma, filter name, comma, etc. If you want it to be and logic, meaning find only segments that have this and this and this and this, each time you add a new filter, you need to click on the plus button uh, and then remove the previous one, type the new one, type plus again. So that's just giving you an idea of how that uh, logic works and, and sort of how that's set up. Now let's uh, play with this a little bit. I happen to know that there are uh, filters for lots of different things of interest. 
If you look on the right side, you have a score column. This is where we'll see fuzzy matches, exact matches, no matches, uh, modifications, all of these kind of things. There's also a status column where you see things like segments with notes, uh, segments that have been split or merged, uh, this sort of thing. And there's also a, a translated or needs translation marker uh, on the side. So all of these things can be filtered for uh, using special filters. So let's do something fun here. I'm going to put my cursor in line one. And I've decided that this doesn't make sense to be together. Microsoft Word logo, welcome to Word. So I put my cursor there. I'm going to click split. I'm going to split this segment. All right, now notice on the right side under status, there's a special symbol there. That means that this segment has been split, okay? Uh, let's do one more just for argument's sake here. Um, I think I'll just split one randomly because uh, let's do one here. This doesn't make sense to split here, but I'm gonna do it just for showing you. So let's split this segment. Okay, so now back at the top, I'm gonna go to special filters. I'm gonna type in split. Okay, so you see that split segments is one of the options, and then I'll click search. All right, so even if I have a huge number of segments, I could have 5,000 segments. If there's only two of them in there that I split while I was working and I can't remember where they are and I want to find them, uh, this will help me find them immediately. So it's a very quick way to get to that. So there are split segments, okay? Um, another thing that you can look for, like I said, are notes. So I don't know how many of you use this feature, but let's say that I'm translating here. Uh, let's go ahead and accept this translation. But uh, down at the bottom, I'm going to click notes, add a note. Okay. All right. There's my note. So you'll see that I have three different things going on in this segment. I have a 100% match. I have a note and I also have it marked as confirmed as translated. Okay, so let's try something now. I'm going to go to special filters and I'm going to say, you know, I want to find any segment that has a note or any segment that's been split. So I'm going to type note. We have segments with notes. Now, since I want or, I'm going to put a comma and now I'm going to put in split and I'll hit search. Okay, and you'll see uh, the two split segments and the note segment have appeared. So I have very readily uh, got that all together. And let me demonstrate again the um, and situation. Okay, so if I wanted, let me go to this one here. I'm going to go ahead and take my fuzzy match. All right. So let's say that I want... Um, actually, I'm not going to do and yet. Let's go ahead and talk about the scores first because we haven't addressed that. So I'm going to type in fuzzy match segments. Search for that. Okay, and you see there's the 99%. All right, and we have 100 match segments. So I'll click on that one. We'll do that instead. Okay, so again, you're getting the idea here. Um, we can really search for all these different things of that nature, and uh, it's it's really powerful. Now, what if I wanted to find uh, segments that have been uh, modified? So only ones that I've done anything to. I can type in modified segments. Okay. Oops. Now look at this. See, WordFast decided it wanted to add on modified segments to the 100 match segments because I didn't clear it out before I started. So I need to make sure that this is cleared. Okay. Now, modified found nothing. And that might make you think, wow, I definitely saw him modify some segments. So uh, why is that not working? This is why I've encouraged you to go look at the manual to see what some of these things do. It's because there's a modified status. So modified status would be if I click in a segment and I start typing and it turns pink over on the right side, it just means that I've started editing the segment. That's all modified is in, in WordFast speak. So now if I type modified and search for that, the one that's pink shows up. 
So again, you have to be very careful that you understand what the filter is supposed to do rather than thinking in your head, well, modified should do this and should do that. That doesn't really matter. What matters is what WordFast thinks of it. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a really interesting one. This is actually a new special filter as of, I can't say how many versions ago, but not too long ago. Um, if you want to search for something um, with the find replace dialog in WordFast Pro, you can press control F. Okay. Then you can search um, for whatever you want. Usually you're looking for text in this case. So I'm going to use the previous example uh, with Word. And down at the bottom, I'm going to search in source segments and go for, okay, so this is case sensitive in here unless I click ignore case. So I'm just going to go uh, find next. Okay, you'll see that what happens is it will jump from segment to segment and highlight individual words. Um, but there's a cool feature which some of you may not know about called reading highlight. If you click reading highlight and you select highlight all, what will happen is that uh, WordFast will take the word you're searching for and put a highlight on it throughout the text. The problem is it's hard to know where those segments are located. You have to scroll through the document. But with this new special filter, I'm going to take the word find here, segments with find replace highlight all. So I'll take that and search for it. All right, so now just the segments uh, with the highlight all function turned on for the word that I searched are filtered out. And I find this extremely helpful. Okay, so that's one of the new ones I definitely wanted to show you today. And let's go ahead and try cumulative. So I'm noticing that some of these uh, have the highlight in them. And just to demonstrate this one more time, I'm going to click, actually, let's back out for a second, clear it up. I'm going to go find first. Click on the plus button. All right, now I'm going to clear this out and we're going to type in tags. So I just want to find segments that have that highlight that also have tags. Oh, it's WordFast going to fight with me here. Let's see. Okay, let's try one more time. Now, I will tell you this. I've encountered this occasionally. Um, I think that uh, doing a lot of segment filtering can sometimes be a little bit um, memory heavy on your system. Um, if you start having an issue like this, what I would do is just save your work, close the document, and then reopen the document, and that should solve any filtering issues that you have. So let's try again and make sure that we get it this time. So find, replace, highlight all, plus. Oh, I forgot. If you close the document, you lose that. This will give me an opportunity to demonstrate it one more time. All right. So we're going to go Control F to bring up find, replace, looking for the word word, highlight all. OK, so that's important to keep in mind. This reading highlight is not a permanent item. It's a temporary item just to help you find something. So no matter how many times you save the document, that's not going to remain in there. So now we're going to go tags and plus. OK. So it looks like despite my better efforts, I still managed to get an or item here. We'll try one more time. And this kind of thing will happen to you, so don't worry about it. All right. And we'll hit plus. Just try again. Uh oh. Well, I'm going to move away from that for a minute. I'm not sure why I'm encountering this issue, but let's use our time on something more useful. All right. So, one more thing that I wanted to uh, talk about in terms of how you can use these filters is when you have them turned on, any actions you take will only affect segments that are displaying. So uh, let's take a common word like and. OK, so I'm going to search for the text and. However, I'm going to turn on the special filter tags again. And we'll set this up. 
So this should be just segments that contain the word and, and also have tags. And what I'm gonna do actually is, while I have that filtered, I'm gonna search for the word and, and I'm gonna replace it um, with a series of big X's like this. All right, let me do, well, actually it's kind of funny, I can't do that because I'm searching in the source. So if I were searching in the target, and the word and were in there, I could replace all of them with these X's. And then what's gonna happen is uh, only these segments would be affected in that way. Let me see if I can do this in a way that is gonna make sense. Okay, so in French here, uh, let's see. I'm looking for, okay. So we have, uh... I'm gonna do this. Just adding a quick translation here. All right, so we're gonna do this. Now, I'm gonna to go to the top. I'm gonna to look for the word A, okay? And then we're gonna special filter with tags. All righty, so let's do this. All right, so now only one thing comes up. And I'm going to do a search replace for A in the target. And we're going to replace this with a bunch of X's. This will demonstrate what I was trying to say. So replace all. Close. Now, if I turn the filter back off. All right, so you'll see uh, the word A was in line three, it's also in line four, and it's in line five. I did a search replace with filter for A and tags, which only brought up line three, and when I did replace all, uh, it only affected that line. So that's the idea when you have uh, filters active and you also uh, do some operations. The same would be true if you hit commit all. So if you wanna commit segments, let's say um, a good use case would be uh, you used a certain uh, term in certain kinds of segments with tags. So you look for that term and you look for segments with tags and then you run a replace all to make that term something else, okay? And once you're done replacing that, if you do a search replace, uh, you've modified a bunch of segments but it's not in your translation memory. So with the filter still in place, if you hit commit all, that will save just the filtered segments uh, to your translation memory without uh, affecting any other segments. So there's a lot of different uh, combinations of things you can do there. All right. So last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this uh, translate all button here. So we can see that I have a lot of things from the memory in here already. Okay. So now because we have different types of segments uh, in the scoring area, um, I wanna show you a couple things. So we have some no matches. You'll see line 49 the no match, okay? So let's go back one last time and I'm gonna type the word segments because there's lots of ones that have segments. So 100% match segments, all except 100% context match auto-propagated, uh, all except 100% 100% context match, auto-propagated, translated segments. Now these might sound pretty nutty, but you definitely want to uh, look up how those work and what you want to do there. But let's look at this one. Uh, edited 100% match segments. So right now, all 100% matches just came out of the TM and nothing has been changed. But let's say I decide uh, that in line six, there is a, a, an error in there. So I make a change. All right, so that 100% has been modified. So let's go select out. You know what, I need to do this. I'm almost ready for questions, by the way. So I'm gonna turn on modified segments. Okay, and then I'm gonna add 100% match segments. Okay, see it tried to add it 
as a I'm gonna pull out of this for a sec. All right, let's try again. Okay, 100% match segments plus. All right, and we're gonna delete this and go to modified plus. Okay, well we're having some some technical issues. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop for the day and uh, take any questions that are coming in because there's so many things that I'm sure you're burning to uh, ask about this. So I'll go ahead and stop talking for a second. And just once again, let me mention, if you have any issues uh, with special filters like you saw me having, generally just go close the document and reopen it and then uh, things will function just fine. I have a lot of stress on my uh, system right now because I have a presentation running I have WordFast running. I have my uh, my microphone, camera, and all of that. And in addition, I need to do some maintenance on my computer. So it's a little bit on me that some of this might be happening. So just close out the doc, try again, and I'm sure it will work fine for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera back on for just a second. So Karina, do we have any uh, questions coming in via the, the chat? Yes, I will. Um answer questions, uh, read question for you. Uh, Lutz, is there a way to reduce the special filters drop down to the ones I need? That's a so question for you. To reduce the special filters drop down, if I understand what the question is, um, what you would do is when you click in the special filters bar, all you need to do is just type generally what you're looking for and it reduces the list. So right now I haven't typed anything. If I scroll, there's a large number of filters in there. So um, let's say I want to look for, um, uh, I typed in REV that says reviewed state segments. You know, you just kind of type in what you're looking for. Um, fuzzy for fuzzy matches. Um, MT, any segments that have machine translation. You know, so I think that's what the question is. If not, um, you know, feel free to ask again and I will see what I can do about that. I have one more from Natalia. Uh, can we use filter for trans check to exclude 100% matches from the, uh, from the check, for example? Yes, so let's see. What we would need is, um, I'm forgetting specifically which filter it is, but you can, tell it that you don't want 100% matches. Um, and once you have those filtered, then you can run the trans check and only apply it to those, those items. So I could give you a sort of an example of that. So if I said I wanted to only run trans check on uh, no match segments, let's go ahead and do this. Right. Okay, so I have no matches up. So now if I go to review and run trans check all, Okay, it should look at those four segments only, and then I can run through those four and take care of them. Uh, another way you can do that too is if you run the trans check, um, you can also sort by trans check. So you can do uh, segments with trans check warnings. So that's so in answer to your question, yes, you filter to get rid of the 100% matches and then you run the trans check and then you can, you know, work on only those rather than having it applied to every single 100% match. Okay, so okay. I hope that answers your question. Okay, uh, Luis says, uh, thank you for the info. How can I find segments only with numbers, no words? Okay, so interestingly, there's not a special segment or special filter for that, but what you can do is you can use your text filter. So um, the easiest way I know of to do that is to use regular expressions. So I'll turn this on. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Just copy what I'm doing. Um, so uh, backslash D means number. Um, so if you want to find a segment that just contains a number, you can just put that in and then hit search. And what will happen is, uh, it'll just show segments that contain at least one number in them. Um, so if you kind of scan through, uh, that should be what pops up in here. 
Um, like for example, this line says heading one right here. Down here it says 365. Here it says heading one. Up the top says F7. So you can do that. Um, if you want to find uh, segments that contain larger numbers, you can do backslash D and then put a plus on it. Plus means more than one. Let's see what happens there. Probably will give me a similar type of scenario. Um, so that's basically what will happen if you want to search for segments with numbers. Um, now, I, I have to warn you, you know, you might be looking at this. Let me give you an example of how you can be tricked by filters. Um, I'm looking down the left side because that's what I was drawn to when I when I just made this filter. And I see F7, I see 365, but then I get to line 38 and I'm looking through here and I'm thinking to myself, well, I don't see any numbers in there. So why is that one being filtered? It's because up at the top, I'm filtering by source or target. If you look at line 38, it actually says Y2. So there is a number in that segment just on the target side. So if you want to make sure that you narrow things down, you can always go to source or target and you can pick which one. So you can go source, you can go target, source and target, source or target, uh, or some other types of things. So just be really careful when you, when you set up your filters that um, you're telling it exactly what you want. Um, I've had this happen to me so many times where I think I'm looking for something and the criteria are actually different from what I'm looking for. But anyway, yeah. So numbers, type in uh, check regex. Um, if you just don't care, it just has to have a single number, you can put backslash D. If you want to find like large numbers, you can put a plus on it and it will uh, find it that way. Okay. So not really a special filter, but it's one that should probably be in there as a special filter. Any more questions? Um, yes. Can we filter, uh, can the filters be applied in project view as well? You show them in the editor view only. In project view. Um, not project in the view. same way. No. There are filters in project view. So if you go to, well, this is file view. Let me go back to project view. I don't so have I any mean, other. Uh, I mean Sorry. filter for transtracking project view. Natalia, explain that. Uh, sorry, what was that? I I mean filter for trans check in project view. No. No, the only filters that are available if you're in project view or file list view are by um, text that's in the items that are displaying. So you can search project names, you can search location of the files, uh, source and target languages. So they don't work at all in the same way. Uh, the purpose of the special filters in the editor view is to narrow down uh, the segments that you're working with to some specific criteria. So no, you can't do that in project view in the same way. Okay. Um, one more question. Uh, Ruth, can we see how to find numbers only, no text? Numbers only, no text. Um, yes. Let's see if I can come up with that on the spot here. You're, you're challenging my, my regular expression knowledge. Okay, let me yeah. just try this before I tell you <laughs> to do this. Okay, here we go. Specialty. Okay, so we're going to search source. Let me put it on source only so we don't have to look in the target as well. And just try this. Here we go. Okay. So that didn't work the way I wanted it to. So, um... The, the way you have to make that work is if you want just numbers, uh, there's a way to write a regular expression that says um, the segment, the entire segment can only contain such and such information. Um, and the way you would generally start that is you have to use a caret symbol to say the segment has to start this way. So let's try this really fast and see if this does well. The thing is, it may not be working because I don't know if I have any segments in here that are numbers only. That's maybe that's what was going wrong. Let me try a trick here. I'm going to edit my source just for argument's sake. Uh, where are you? Edit source. Is this a... Okay, here we go. All right, so now let's try my expression. I need to put a plus in here. All right, 
regex. There we go. Okay, so that's the answer. Um, you would have to type in regular expression. You put a caret symbol, backslash D for a number, plus for more than one possibly, and then a dollar sign to mean the end of the segment. So the caret starts the segment, dollar sign ends the segment. Um, anything else in between you have to specify in your expression. So that's what you would write, and then you search for it. And this is just a text filter. This is not a special filter. So that's how you would do that. Okay, any other questions? Okay, so what I'm going to do then just to finish up is I will go back very briefly and just uh, show you the information from the beginning. So that way uh, that's not left out of our webinar. Okay, so all I said at the very beginning was I said if you go and you click on the little question mark uh, at the top right of WorkFast Pro when you're um, in the program, that opens the online help files. Okay. So what you'll end up with is, uh, let me back up one second here. You'll end up with this page. And what this page is giving you is an option between online help or going to the user guide. You can pick either one of those and it's fine. I'll just click on the user guide. And when I do that, uh, it opens up the, the WorkFast Pro user guide for 9.5. And I moved to this section ahead of time, so you'd have to search for this, but look for filter criteria. And when you do that, it takes you to the page that explains the filter bar. So what it looks like, what all of the options are, what the buttons do. And there's a complete list of special filters on here. Let me make this a little bigger for you. Uh, that explains exactly what they do and what they apply to. Um, so in that scenario where somebody was asking, you know, I want to show everything but 100% matches, read through these and you're going to find uh, the answer to that question. Um, there's some very specialized ones in here. For example, Excel sheet name segments, you know, so um, just take a look through and you'll find uh, most things that you're looking for. If you can't find it in this list, it does not exist as a special filter and your best bet, if you can do it, is to try to find what you're looking for as a text filter. Okay, so that was one thing that we talked about. The second thing I mentioned right at the beginning was that if you do um, a text filter uh, combined with a special filter, uh, it does an AND logic. So if I look for, uh, for example, match case, and I look for um, the capital W word, and then I also add in a tags, filter and hit search, um, what that does is it looks for capital word and also segments with tags. So it has to meet both of those criteria. It's an and logic. Um, and then that's what it will filter for. Whereas if you go into special filters and you put tags, for example, if you try to add a second filter here now, um, let's say 100%, um, you can put a comma and then add the second one. So I put in, it's fighting with me again. Let's go tags, oops, comma, 100%. Okay, so if you add those two with a comma between them, this is an or logic and you can hit the normal button. That just means find me segments with tags or segments that are 100%, okay? If you want to do an and logic in special filters, you first put the filter you want, segments with tags, then you hit the plus button on the right. All right, then you delete the, the text in here and you type your second one. Okay, 100% match segments now and then hit plus a second time. Okay, so that should give you uh, segments with tags and they're also 100%, so it's an and logic. Just wanted to tell you that, and I think one of the other things I warned about is make sure that um, if you don't want unintended consequences, that you clear out your filters with the little X button before starting over, because you might be building layer upon layer upon layer without realizing it. Um, and I think that's mostly what I covered in the beginning was talking about uh, where to find the information on all of the special filters and also how the logic works. 
And I think that about wraps it up, unless there is a last burning question. Do we have anything mm. else, Karina? Yeah, I think uh, one question uh, I did not read uh, is, is Sandor's. Uh, so reject, the way you are using them uh, here today are basically customized filter, right? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so if you turn on uh, regex and you start typing in here, um, I can't really get into that today because it's very complicated. Um, I would recommend uh, that you go look up regular expressions and how those work if you're interested, but you can write these complicated expressions that look like weird uh, programming language almost, and it can result in some very interesting uh, items. Um, I'll show you one last example of that, and then we got to leave off on this. So, like, let's say I wanted to find any segment that contains, um, let's put match case again, the word word, and if I put a pipe character, this means or, uh, find me any segments that contain um, the X's that I put in. So let's try this and see what happens. Okay, so. Um, in theory, what this should find me is in the source or the target, find me a segment that contains capital W word, and you'll see word here, word over here, um, mm -hmm. word in line five, but I also told it or a segment that has all these X's, and so I also found line three with the X's. So yeah, you can do a lot of powerful things there, but again, this is not really the place uh, to explain that. Uh, please uh, go check out regular expressions um, and see what might work for you but you can do lots of interesting things with those okay uh one more uh, i will enable the the mic uh, to karen karen okay you can ask your question because you i saw you raised your hand are you there karen yes oh hello, hello. yes hello. just really quickly a simple thing how do i turn the lowercase in into uppercase ever since i have the word fast classify the command that i used to use doesn't work anymore and that that's really handy you know it lowercase into uppercase uh okay. yes i i don't think that's related to filters but i can show you that uh, let me just yes, make sure yes, sorry <laughs> okay um let me test it here yeah so um if, if what you mean is, uh, look at the word I have highlighted here. I'm going to use a shortcut uh -huh. going like this. Okay. So if that's what you're talking about, the shortcut is shift plus the F3 key. So shift you hold down plus F3. F3. Okay. All yep. right. Thank yep. you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. So I think that's, you know, uh, Go yeah. ahead, Korea. No, oh, okay. I think I will have one more question, but I don't know if I we'll have more time. Let me check. Okay. I'm happy to stick on for a couple more minutes. If there's more questions, I'll do what I can to answer okay. them. Okay, okay. Catherine, what does the symbol mean in the status column of segment four? Uh, uh, the the, the segment. note. <laughs> yeah, so check this out. If um, down on the bottom there is a notes pane, and you'll see it says segment four. This is a fun webinar. So it tells me where that segment's located. Um, and if I'm somewhere else, let me say that I'm on line 63, and then I double click on the note, it will take me to line four uh, where that this note applies to. So that's basically all that is. And like I said, uh, the status column has any number of different things in there. Um, if you go into the, uh, the manual, like I showed you for uh, special filters, you can also look up status and it will show you what each of these symbols means. Um, and then again, there's a special filter that applies to, I think, just about every one of these special symbols. So like, for example, the little pencil here, that one means that I edited uh, the source or something like that. Yeah, because over here, uh, in order to demonstrate looking for an all number segment, I deleted the source and it actually put it put this number in. So this means edited source. So like I can go to special filters and go, um, oops, type in the word source and it has edited source segments. And so I can search for that even and find line two. Now, 
um, WordFast considers anytime you've uh, split or merged a segment, you've also in a way edited the source. So it'll bring those up too. That's why we're seeing um, one and 25 because I split those segments. And if you look on the right, you'll see the split segment or uh, uh, symbol status as well. Okay. And uh, okay. there's all, also one, since we were on that topic, I'll, I'll just share this really quick. There's a uh, segment history, um, which shows revisions that have been made uh, to a segment. Uh, so any segment that's had multiple different revisions, um, you can also look for, let's try this history. There you go. Segments with history. So that's another special uh, filter. So if I click on that one, uh, any segments that I messed around with multiple times today or anything like that will have, um, will be brought up. So, okay, more questions? Sandra says the match case next to reject, what is it that for exactly? Match case. Uh, that's simply to state that you want it to be case sensitive. So, you know, earlier I kept giving the example, uh, do you see in line one, it says Microsoft Word and Word has a capital W. So if I search for Word with lowercase here and I hit search, it it doesn't care what, uh, it doesn't care if the word Word has a capital W or not. So you'll see in line one, it found capital W Word. And in line 20, uh, it's got lowercase Word, line 22, lowercase Word. So as soon as I hit match case, and run that same filter, uh, it'll find only segments with lowercase word. So you'll see here, word, 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 etc. Now, if you happen to see one that contains both, like line 20, you might say to yourself, oh, well, it's still finding that one. It's actually not finding that one. It's finding this instance. It, this just happens to coincidentally be in there as well, but it just means case sensitive for what you're typing in. Okay. Well, I left you the link to useful regular expression in the chat box here, so you can see more about them. Well, I think that's all. Uh, I just wanted to share uh, this, and, and then I'm done as well. I went into okay. the manual, and I searched for segment status and found the list of the little icons that show up in the status column. So if you look up segment status in the manual, you'll get an explanation of what each of those means as well. And I think you'll find that helpful. Very okay. Useful. All right. Yeah. All right. So thank you, Jamie. That was very useful. I hope you guys enjoy this webinar. And uh, we are going to post it in our uh, YouTube channel so you can see it again. So thank you all for being here. Uh, let's get ready for the next one with uh, uh, Yves Champollion and his plus two next next generation <laughs> uh, next month. I think the it's uh, will be around the the end of uh, November. Maybe that date, but the, please be be there to to hear about more news. So Jamie, thank you a lot. You were great. Thank you. Thank you everyone for attending.